how to add up values using the date as a criteria days months and years we're going to start first with the first example the easiest one where we have the years to be used as a criteria we need to summarize the data set using the years or to add up the values that correspond to a certain criteria and then we can move on to a second example where we need to have more dexterity because here we're going to have the years and also the months so two different criteria to be used then we can move on to the last example where we're going to use a full date with the days the years and also the months so three different criteria to consider within the sum function so let's start with the first one where i have a sales report and i want to summarize the total sold per year per date by the date that i have so i can use the date as a criteria to add up all the prices that i have or the total sold first of all i want to separate all the dates that i have so it's tracked off to the side the dates but we can do it with many different ways such as manually input the dates so let me type in here year and then 2024 that is the first year that i have and then i also have 2025 and 2026 too so I can input all those different years right here. But well, let's say you have many, many different years. Manually, it can take a long time to complete all those years. So what we can do is you just input the first, first year, 2024. You can at the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down. Because that way Excel can create the sequence for you. But as we can see here, Excel just scope down the number without create the sequence or 2024 5 6 and on and on so let me click in this little tag and i go to fill series okay that's it now i have all the years that i need and beyond now in the next column i want to input total sold enter and to add up the values that are corresponding to the first criteria 2024 i can use the equal sign sum if function the sum if function can add up the values that match with a certain criteria let me double click one two to select as the range is where i want to look up for my criteria and uh, in this case it can be either a small range like this or the entire column a so just click over the letter to select everything within this column trauma my criteria is going to be the year that i have to the left trauma and the sum range or the range that I want to use to add up the values is the entire column D. And then I can press enter. Okay, here we got the total sold. Simple as that. And again, at the bottom right corner of the cell, I can click hold and drag down to cope this function down. And we're done. So this is the result. And this is how we can use a single condition such as the year to summarize the total sold or to summarize a data set that we have. I want, also want to select everything. Home tab and put everything with the dollar sign make it more easy to see the values and that's it so this is how we can summarize a data set using the year as a criteria now move on to a second example where we need to have more dexterity to solve this problem because now we have two different conditions the month and also the year and of course we need to be mindful because there is many different functions that can help us with this situation such as equal sign drop by function or pivot by function however not all excel versions have both of those functions but on the other hand the sum function the sum if and the sum ifs basically all excel versions have those functions so this is why the focus of this video is about the sum function with a criteria because it's gonna work in all excel versions so uh solving this problem with the months again we have basically the same sales report as before but this time the date is a little bit different because we have the month and the year if you click in any cell where we have the month and the year we can check through the formula bar the complete date such as December 1st of 2024 this is the date that I just selected here if I go to another date such as October of 2024 I can see also the full date through the formula bar but anyway what are we gonna do here is now we need to use two different criteria in excel basically a threshold where we can start and where we're gonna stop to add up the values the first value or information that i want to input in the cell is the first date that i have 
So January 1st of 2024, and then enter. The threshold, the limit is going to be January 31st or the last day of January of the year 2024. That way, we can pass through all the days of January of 2024. Things, the first day up to the last day of the January of 2024. And we basically need to do it for all the months that we have. But again, we can use the sequence of Excel to help us automate this task. So let me click in the first cell at the bottom right corner, click, hold, and drag down. Maybe like this. However, as we can see, Excel indeed created a sequence. January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd. But I don't want to create a sequence within the January month. I want to create a sequence using the months as a criteria. So January, February, March, April, and on and on. Again, I can click in this little tag to change the option. And I want to change by the few months or the months. Click here. And as we can see, now I have January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, April 1st, and on and on. All the months of the year in their first day. Uh, maybe we, I can increase the size of this column, the width. And I can stick with only the 2024 year because I don't have it here the 2025. Okay, now let me do something similar to the second column. At the bottom, click, hold, and drag down. And click in the tag to change the option. And again, I want to use months. And as we can see, now we're going to have all the last day of all the months of the year. Now I can use this threshold, the start point, and the ending point as a criteria to my sum function. However, as we have two different criteria, the start point and the ending point, we need to use the equal sign sum ifs function with the s in the suffix, because this s right here indicates that we can use as many criteria as we need to. Double click one, two. First of all, the sum range. The sum range is going to be the price. Okay. Comma. The first criteria range is going to be the date. Comma. The first criteria is going to be the first start point. However, to tell the sum if function that I need to start in this state, I need to use a logical operator. That is, I want to add up all the values are greater than or equal to this first state. So open quotations and then greater than and equal to. Those are the two logical operators that I need to use. And then uncode upper send to append now the date. That is my first criteria. Okay. Come on. Now we can move on to the second criteria. We start with the range. That is again the date. Okay. Come on. Now the second criteria is going to be everything that is less than or equal to our threshold or limit. So code less than equal to uncode upper send to append the date select the date and close parentheses and press enter. This is the total sold in January of 2024. And we can also check if it's correct, going to the data set and add up these, those values, or we can use some filters here. So let me press Ctrl Shift L to enable the filters. Now I want to select everything in the date that is equal to January and then OK. And let's see what is the total sold in this month. Let me make an addition of those values. Equal sign, the first one, add it to the second one, add it to the third one. Enter. Okay, 67 and 77 cents. Let me read it off this result. Let me read it off the filters. And okay, the result that we have here is the same as we manually checked. So we know it's correct. Let me bring this formula down and we're done. So this is the total sold for all the months that we have. And we can also improve this summary. Maybe in the column to the, to the right, we can input January and then enter. And if I bring this name down, as we can see, Excel is going to continue to create the sequence for me. January, February, March. Now it's easier to see each one of the values for each one of the months. Now let me select all the values, home tab, put everything as currency. Okay. And we've done the second example. Now let's move on to the third one. Now we have something more difficult, let's say, because we have a full date with the, the month, the day, and the year. However, as we did before, we separate two columns to be the threshold, one with the start point, and another one to be the ending point. We can do the same thing here again. Again, I have a sales report with a lot of different dates, starting at the January 1st of 2025 and goes up to uh, maybe 2026. I don't know. So. Let's create a couple of different thresholds and use the sum if to help us adapt the values that match with the criteria. So I uh, want to start with January 1st of 2025. Enter. Let me bring this date down to create the sequence of the months. Click in the tag and then fill months. 
Let me increase the width of both of those columns. The second one, I need to use the last day of the month, January 31st of 2025. Enter. Let me bring this month down again. Click in the tag and fill months. Now in the next column, we can use the equal sign sum if function to help us. Double click one, two, as we did learn before. So it's much easier now. The sum range is going to be the price, comma. The criteria range is going to be the date, comma. The first criteria is going to be hold everything that is greater than or equal to, uncode, upper send the date that I have, comma. Now the second criteria range again is going to be the date because I'm using the dates as my criteria, comma. The, the second criteria is everything that is less than or equal to my ending point, my ending date. So, code less than or equal to, uncode, upper percent, and then the date. Let me press enter, and we're done. Let me bring this formula down to make sure we can complete this task. And let's change it to a current format, and we're done. So, this is how we can summarize the data set using the date as a criteria, whether it's the days, the months, or the years, or all those three. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we summarize the data set using the sum if and sum ifs function in Excel. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.